Good morning, YouTube family, and Merry Christmas. So, the day has already progressed. <laughs> um, the boys have opened their presents. Everybody actually has opened their presents. Well, at least for me and Thomas, the presents that got here, the kids' the presents were all here. Our presents are still in the process of coming here. So, everybody opened what was below the tree. And now I am making breakfast, doing some, it's our tradition of having red velvet pancakes on Christmas morning. So I am making the red velvet pancakes and to go along with that, just some eggs and some sausage. And then yeah, afterwards we are going to do our, um, also our tradition of our, what is it called? Gingerbread house competition. So. After everybody eats breakfast, we'll do the gingerbread houses and then, I don't know, maybe watch a Christmas movie. It just, it doesn't feel like Christmas. Does it feel like Christmas to anybody else? Like, for one, it doesn't feel like Christmas just because, like, you're not, like, around family and friends and, like, the usual. But then on top of that, it is super warm outside. Like, do y'all see how bright and sunshiny it is outside? Well, you couldn't really see. But it is real bright and sunshiny, and it's warm. <laughs> I am not used to a warm Christmas. So, that is what is happening today. So yeah, let me keep moving along before I burn something. So wait, um, <laughs> y'all, so hold up, the way that I make my, um, what are they called? <laughs> I can't even think of the name right now because the pancakes, the red velvet pancakes for Christmas is I take regular pancake mix, put it in the bowl, and then I take some, uh, red velvet cake mix and just add a little bit you know for the taste and for the color to the pancakes and so I use the rest of the cake mix to make an actual red velvet cake and so I don't know where all of our cake pans went but I couldn't find any so I had to use like this silicone cake pan mold that I have and y'all <laughs> the cake bubbled over and thankfully I put it on top of a cookie sheet but it bubbled over and so now the cake like has these like two growths on I have to show y'all like <laughs> I don't know what kind of cake this is like it feels very done it's very firm I hope it's moist inside like it just the sides of it are cracking me up <laughs> like look how it just bubbles over and then it's kind of like leaning and tilting this way I don't know 
Uh, I didn't expect it to rise so much. I'm trying to let it cool before I ice it. But wow. <laughs> oh goodness. Now it's just like too... Like it looks like a growth. I don't know how else to explain it. But whatever. We have cake. <laughs> And I also bought a patty pie when I went to a uh, Walmart the other day. But since we have the cake now, I don't even think that we really need the patty pie. So whatever. But it'll it'll be eaten at some point. <sighs> but alright. And I cooked breakfast a while ago and we still haven't even sat down to eat it. What is happening to today? Everybody kind of just got their toys and disappeared. And I don't know if they're expecting me to come bring them their plates. But it's not going to happen. Okay, guys. I'm sorry. This vlog, like, sucked. This day kind of sort of sucked. Like, it did not feel like Christmas to me at all. Like, the Christmas music, the, just the feeling of the Christmas spirit, all of that, I just feel like was gone for today. Um, the kids opened gifts. Thomas opened his gifts. Like I said, me and his gifts didn't really come. We're still waiting for them in the mail. But um, what did come was he got me a pair of Timberland boots, which are really cute, it's like fur around the ankle, they're really cute. And um, I bought myself some chocolates from work that have like an alcohol center. They were delicious. Um, the boys liked their toys. Thomas got them a motorized scooter. Um, my mom got them some action figures. And then I bought them those video games. And then on top of that, the Nerf guns. And let me tell you, I regret very few things in my life. But already, I am regretting those Nerf guns. <laughs> like, those little bullet things are everywhere. All over the floor, every room. I just... And the guns keep getting more jams than a little bit. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm over it. Already. Over it. But yeah, that's pretty much going to sum up our Christmas guys like right now I'm just doing real adult stuff I managed to print out all the rest of the pages for my um, budget workbook and I've been filling out my December budget for my last paycheck from December and that's pretty much it but that'll be a different video for how I budgeted everything out for my last paycheck of the year but yeah I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and please make sure you like comment share subscribe and all that good fun stuff and I will see you guys in the next one. And I'm so sorry about this one because it really sucked. <laughs> like, today was just blah. So this vlog is just blah. So I'm sorry. Sorry. Hey guys. So just left Office Depot. Where? I got my book. All bound. It is a lot of pages. I should have like organized the pages, like had it to where, because I didn't print double sided, because I honestly didn't know that that was an option with my printer. So it's like a lot of white space, but whatever. I could have arranged it to where it was front to back when I have my book open, but it's cool. It was my first year doing this. I know better for next time. But. I thought it was gonna cost like a whole bunch of money because of how big the book would have to be and how many pages, but no. It only cost $5.39. And that is including tax. So I am very excited. I got my book bound and now I'm so ready to begin tracking my funds and seeing where my money goes and such and just being an overall well-rounded adult. No. Yeah, mommy. Uh, mommy? Yes, Thomas. Yes, mommy. What? mommy, what happens if someone comes in and uses your bank account again? Oh, then mommy would have to go through the whole process of calling her bank and getting them to give her her money back. I hope sure it doesn't happen again. Yeah, me too. I was wondering <sighs> But okay, so now we're headed to back on base to the commissary because I need to go to the market. Mm -hmm. Thomas brought some food for the house, but like not any of the stuff that I eat. So I'm gonna go get some food for me. 
But when I didn't mean to do that, sorry, car. But alright, let's go. Okay, so went to the commissary, got food for myself, just got like some rice cakes, um, because they had like some really good flavors, like a white cheddar and caramel, and I think the other one I got was like lightly salted. So those are gonna be like my snack substitutes. Cross your fingers that it works. And then the commissary had um, ground sausage on sale, like the little Jimmy Bean, like they're really short ones, they're like this big, but they're really short of like sausages. They had those on sale for 77 cents. So I stocked up on those and then the little, the like little mini hot dog things. What are they called? You wrap them up in dough and you like put them in the oven, like little cocktail wiener things. Y'all know what I'm talking about? There's like little sausages. I can't think of the name right now, but they also had those on sale at the commissary for 39 cents a package. So I stocked up on those as well. And then I got some cabbage and some avocado for my avocado toast, which I love in the mornings. And yeah, that was pretty much it. Um, some cheese slices and some more of my low carb bread so that I can have grilled cheese in the mornings. Just stuff like that. But I will say, I set myself a budget of $60 to go to the commissary. And y'all, I only spent $60.28. I was only 28. Can I take you there?